in the previous exercise, we had seen how we can use Docker Compose to launch a multi-container application. That was a simple example to illustrate how to make use of Docker Compose. Of course, Docker Compose has a lot more uh, uh, complex ways of defining multi-container applications, including multiple containers. And uh, we'll look at a, more details of how to make use of Docker, Docker Compose later. But let's quickly examine what exactly is Docker Compose and how we make use of it. The document behind me contains some basic details about Docker Compose. Let's examine it in further detail. So as defined here, Docker Compose is a tool for defining multi-container applications. And for this, we will use a YAML file to configure and specify your application's services, as we have seen with the simple example in the previous exercise. Now, the official YAML site contains more details about YAML, the uh, language itself. Uh, but for our purposes, we just need to understand how we can configure the uh, multi-container application for Docker Compose. So I will concentrate primarily on how we can specify the configuration for um, our Docker Compose application. So when you use Compose, we do this in a three-step process. In the first step, we normally specify how to build the image file using a Docker file for any application code there. We have already learned how to do this in the previous exercises. Now, in the uh, exercise earlier, we had used a pre-built image, but Docker Compose can also build the image for you if you specify it in the Docker file. The second step is to define the services that make up your application in the Docker Compose.yml file. We have seen an example of that uh, earlier. And then you run the uh, Docker Compose up to start up your entire application. And we saw a simple example of a Docker Compose.yml file in the previous exercise. We'll look at the more uh, detailed uh, versions and the, uh, uh, various other uh, um, configuration parameters in more detail as we go through the exercises in this series. One of the main reasons why we are interested in using Docker Compose is that it allows you to run multiple um, applications, multi-container applications in their own isolated environments on a single host machine. So on your computer, you could easily launch multiple multi-container uh, Docker applications, each one of them running in their own isolated environments. Because as you realized, each Docker Composed or YML file that defines the set of services will create its own user-defined network. And so that will remain isolated from other user-defined networks that are used for other um, multi-container applications. Secondly, it uh, the Docker Compose can also make sure that the data that are uh, stored in the volumes are stored and available when you again relaunch the application. We'll look at the use of these in more detail in the next set of uh, exercises. Also, when you specify how to build an image, it will only recreate those containers for which it notices any changes that are required. Also, you can um, um, define additional variables to control uh, how the uh, Docker container uh, application uh, is launched. Now, one of the most common use cases for using Docker Compose is when you set up a development environment. As we will uh, learn later, uh, when you are running a um, full stack web application, 
it'll typically contain the front end, the business logic, and the data persistence layers, each of them supported by a front end uh, um, framework, uh, an express server, and a database uh, server, uh, either uh, MongoDB or MySQL server running in the background. So this automatically lends itself to a multi-container environment, uh, especially when you are developing your full stack application, you would launch multiple containers, one each for the front end, the express server and the database server. So this can be easily configured using Docker Compose YML so that when you start your development, all the uh, containers are automatically launched for you on, on your behalf. Similarly, we can set up automated testing environments using Docker Compose. We'll um, not look at that in more detail right now, but we'll postpone it to a, a later stage. And also, we'll, um, doc, Docker um, Compose allows you to do single host deployments, which allows you to deploy either on a single instance uh, of a Docker machine or an entire Swarm cluster. We'll look at these in more detail later. Another aspect that we need to remember with the use of Docker Compose is how the Docker Compose itself sets up a single default network for your application. We have seen that in the exercise earlier. Uh, we can control and specify the exact name for the um, network if we wish to, and details of which are described in the document um, given here. We'll come back to this in more detail at a later stage where we need to uh, do further configuration for our networking. In addition, with a multi-container application, you would want to start your containers in a certain order so that the um, containers, if they are dependent on other containers, then they will be started in the proper order so that the containers that are required will be up and running before the um, other containers are started. As you saw in the exercise earlier, we wanted the MongoDB uh, container to be up and running before the Express server starts up. This can be controlled as we saw with the use of the depends on option in the uh, Compose file. But in addition, there may be situations where your application may actually need to wait for your um, database server to be up and running and ready to accept connections. In such circumstances, you can either do multiple trials within your application code in order to connect to the database server, or you can use a tool, as we saw in the, in the exercise earlier, you can use a tool like wait for it or dockerize or some other um, uh, shell scripts, wrapper scripts that will be executed before you establish the connection. And indeed, in the exercise, we had seen the use of the wait for it shell script, and we saw how we set up the command uh, like this example here. With this quick introduction to Docker Compose, let's move on to considering further exercises and how to set up a development environment for a full stack web application development.